Hey YouTube, <clears throat> it's your girl the Rich Aunt, and um, I know you saw little snippets of videos of me working on this particular painting. Well, that's her all finished. She is. Um, I did the underpainting in acrylic, and then layered the rest of it in oils. Um, I use. Is it a? This is my palette. <laughs> I use um, Winsor Newton Artisan Water Mixable Oils because I was, you know, new to oils. And I use Reeves Water Mixable Oils. I have a few just regular oil paints by Gambling. Um, <clears throat> that's my palette. That's the linseed oil. That's the paint thinner. Water. And that's her. She's all done. She's 11 by 14 on wood panel. You know, um, this was a pine. I usually use birch. I'm girl. You see, I got a 16 by 20 behind her. That's gonna be the next project. Over here, I'm working on. <clears throat> There's an oval canvas behind that one, but this one is 16 by 20 canvas, but it's mixed media, so that's why I use canvas. I hate to cover up wood with mixed media. I know a lot of people do, but just me personally, I love the grain of the wood. This is actually the first piece that I really didn't showcase the grain of the wood as much. Unlike this piece where you see a lot of the grain of the wood in the, in, in the artwork, incorporated into the artwork. Which is, this is a um, 24 by 48. It's still a little, a few things I got to tweak on it. It's, it was done a long time ago, but I still want to go ahead and just tweak a few things before the person who rightfully owns it now takes it. Plus I got to cradle it because it's just... A panel. <clears throat> this piece is also sold. It has been sold. And the person who said they were coming to get it, I could have delivered it, mailed it, you know, whatever. They never came and got it. So now that I've actually really mastered skin tones, I can see where I went all wrong with this skin tone. And I really want to go ahead and fix it. So that's what I'm going to do. With, that's why it's sitting back on the easel. But this is my current work in progress and um, I have a cold so I sound horrible she is um, acrylic well because this is mixed media so this is acrylic that's a you know collage and acrylic um, and then some of the clock is embellished of course you know with paint and she is um, I started her in acrylic I actually did what I took her way past underpainting I did um, I have a picture I'll put that up you know but she was all skin was brown and then I just started highlighting in shadows and acrylics and then actually came in with the um I did a lot of it in acrylic. Um, I just finished in oils, actually. I love oil. Some people can finish in acrylic and make it look real, but I love oil. I just love the creaminess of it. And how you can work it, you know, and it doesn't, you know, it has so much forgiveness. So this is inspired by a Jody Watley photograph. And the hat's gonna have all these little swirls on it. And um of course you know this is not complete replica of her. I definitely used her as a muse, <clears throat> but still wanted to kind of keep it in line with the faces that I typically like to paint 
you know, the long, kind of elongated nose and the close set eyes, big eyes. So, um, yeah, I kind of try to st still stick with that, the exaggerated cheekbones, you know, so. Didn't make the lows as long and say, like, if I've done on that one or her or even her, but you, I kind of still wanted to have, you know, a little bit longer bridge than the picture, actual picture. Like I said, I still wanted it to be in my like in my style, but her likeness inspired. So I had to finish all these little things all over her hat. Then I'm going to add some geometrical um, attributes to it. And it'll be done. Alrighty, guys. I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to get dressed and go to the salon. I have some hair to do.